people has arrived. Isn't she stunning? So happy. The best half marathon I've ever seen. It's from me and Andrew. Please don't hate me. I didn't film anything of the party. It has been crazy. I really don't know how to explain it in a way that would, not in a way that would, but like, that wouldn't make me sound lazy because I'm not lazy. But like, I was really over, I wasn't overwhelmed about the party, that's a lie, but I just have had like low expect, not, again, low expectations sounds ungrateful, but I was so chilled about the party and the fact that like what will be will be. And all these ideas that I had in my head, I was like, it's not gonna look great. I don't really wanna document it, but it, end up, it did end up looking really good. My baking went really well, but nothing was done in order. But I had the most amazing, amazing time. And I'll obviously like put in everything that I did manage to get. Like I dressed up as Chucky, like I'm not a makeup girly. I wanted to be like a decade ago. I just, I'm not good enough. So for someone that feels like mascara and fake freckles is like a lot of makeup to then doing my whole Chucky situ Halloween situation is quite hilarious. People liked it. Andrew thought I looked quite good. But yeah, just long story short, it was just, a really really wholesome evening i got to meet some of andrew's friends um all of our friends that we kind of like know separately kind of got together i mean i'm not gonna lie a good bunch of my friends are people that i've met through helen from moving up here and they are just wonderful people very very thankful and happy and has really really filled my cup i just do apologize that i just I just didn't vlog at all but on to other things there wasn't a thursday vlog and i like keeping to arrangements deadlines it keeps me committed and the fact that i haven't is it is thursday today the fact that i've started this vlog on thursday doesn't bode well mentally for me but we're persevering because andrew has left he has gone to malta and he's working for like the next five weeks there. I may be taking a trip over there for a long weekend with my mum, but I'm I'm not sure yet. It's, it is the run up to going away to Disney as soon as we get into November and I've got the dogs to consider and just plodding on as I normally do every single day and to take a big uh, a weekend and a couple of days either side. I just, I don't want it to throw me off and make me go a little bit like overwhelmed. But yes, the reason why I didn't crack on to this vlog is just because it's just been a lot, as I'm sure you can imagine. But yes, I helped Andrew pack. We had to do just a, a, a good few bits to get things across the line before he goes away. It would have just been a nothing vlog and I'm not all about that. This is fun. This is a fun space. His suitcase looked fantastic because of me. You're not that sad, are you? No, I am sad. Very sad. Yeah, Grace cried. This isn't something I'm going to be paying audio for, so you said we want. <laughs> I, I got really sad yesterday and it just kind of like set in that I'm like oh yeah no it's actually happening he's leaving and I've still got Disney bits to do and plan before we go away and I'm gonna be doing it by myself and that makes me really really sad but it just means that I can just make more content and Although like some of this stuff I would do behind the scenes with Andrew and it was, you know, our form of quality time because it's an important a moment where we can shut off and spend quality time together and we're doing it in a place that makes us really, really happy. So the planning for that is also really fulfilling. And to be fair, we have done the bulk of it. And if I could share with you the itinerary that we have got together, it's fantastic. It's gonna be so Christmassy and magical. And I'm just like, I could just, 
oh, I can't wait. And then there's some big things happening next year. If I look back like five years ago where Andrew and I were, the idea of doing any of this stuff just would have been such a massive pipe dream. And I'm just, yeah, I'm really just thankful. And although I'm a bit like, I'm not spending my birthday with him this year, which is this Saturday. So when this vlog does go up, it was my birthday yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit like, it's the first birthday. It's the first birthday that I've spent, that I will be spending without him which is sad, but um, my other tangent for this vlog is that my mum and my brother are coming up this weekend because my mum didn't want me to spend my birthday on my own, which I thought was really, really nice. So this vlog, again, long story short, is going to be me getting myself organised for my mum and brother coming up for this weekend and Monday. I need to get some food in. I've got some work bits to finish off. We've got our dining table arriving today, which I cannot wait to um, dress and look nice. So we need to do that, but it's very much go, go, go. So I want to kind of do a similar format to the vlog that I recently put out because that did really well. My vlogs have not been doing very well and probably for good reason because I haven't been in a good headspace with everything that happened with Luna, a bit chaotic. Oh yeah, I'm also getting my hair done tomorrow. And because my uh, Bryony, who does my hair, is still on maternity leave. I've been having a lovely girl called Megan do my hair. She's going to be doing that tomorrow and she's just so lovely. But enough rambling, let's crack on because this is already 13 minutes of an intro and nobody wants that. With the window closing on when they are going to be delivering this table, now is a better time than ever to show you what the house is currently looking like. So this is the runway. <laughs> And, oh, it's very echoey as well. And I think that, yeah, the dining table and chairs and everything is gonna go here. But last night I hoovered and mopped from, cause no one took their shoes off for the party, which I said they didn't have to take their shoes off cause it's flooring that is really easy to mop and whatnot, but it was dirty. So I gave it a good old mop last night and it just looks really, really sad. I'm debating whether I should like the party's been and gone now. Do I do I get rid of this or do I keep it? Because it's still, I mean, Halloween hasn't been yet. So like, do I take all the decorations down or do I keep it? And a part of me is just like, look, you've had the party now, Grace, just get rid. We've also got some bar stools coming as well that were in the sale. This is all in the sale, by the way. Who doesn't love a sale? It's gonna be great. Like the chairs that we got, they're like green chairs and the table has these like end bits that go on and make it really long. And we've got a bench as well. And it's just gonna, pull this house together and look really, really great and less of a runway. But yeah, getting this house in a position where it's functional is just a dream come true. And like having the office upstairs, oh, I can't wait. And mum coming up this weekend, I think we're gonna go through some clothes. I've just got so much to yibber yabber, jibber jabber on about. Like. I haven't even showed you this yet. My birthday's on Saturday, I have said, but this is a birthday present. It's from me and Andrew. It's for the house, but um, I really wanted to get a slow cooker so I could just like put something in and then not have to think about it. I didn't even know that Ninja did like a slow cooker, but obviously it does so many other things as Ninja does. But look, that can then go in the oven. Like, how amazing is that? Oh, I think this might be the table. Hi, I think I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Once this table has been delivered, my therapy has also been canceled today. I'm going to get a slow cooker meal on and just live in my absolute element. The table has arrived. It's great. I've also got myself ready. Um, it is a me day today. I needed to explain. Um, Thursdays tend to be a bit of a me day because I've got therapy and I kind of just try and do the things, try and do things that make me happy 
in saying that, now that we've got the table, the bar stools and everything's kind of coming together, I thought, I'm gonna go all the way to Cossie, or New Cossie, Cossie, where the range is and have a little peruse because the last couple of times I have gone has been with Andrew and he despises the range. He's just, he despises uh, shopping in general. I'm not a big fan, but I just want to peruse around the range in my own time. They've got some amazing stuff out at the moment that we did grab for the party. If you know B&M, Home Bargains, the range, just all of that tip. I love that tip. So, um, They've got some good tip at the moment and um, I want to go have a look and then I'm also going to go to Sainsbury's which is next door and I'm going to do a little bit of a food shop because I'm going to I'm going to do a Slaker Camille for dinner tonight and for lunch tomorrow but anyway let me show you this table isn't she stunning it's like proper wood smells incredible we got four of these chairs as well uh two of them are down here i've got one in the corner there which i want to kind of get a cushion on it and then one is upstairs in the spare room um because i didn't want it to be overcrowded and the and here it like goes in nicely but it wouldn't here and there are two little things another plank of wood goes on the end of each side and this table goes massive um which they are in that little box but we're we're not going to open them until we need them um and then yeah a lovely lovely wooden bench and a big reason yeah as i want to go to the range is i want to dress this a bit better see if they've got a table runner i don't all of this obviously has added up and i don't want to spend like a load of money buying stuff to go on top of it like I thought this platter would look nice but this is a massive platter and it's making this table well it's, this table is making that look tiny so I think I just want like a big vase or something with some fake flowers in a table runner I might even nip to Dunelm as well and see if they're um I want to see their what is it called placemats Andrew and I only have two placemats for Andrew and I um, I've got my mum and my brother coming up this weekend and we've got Andrew's mum and dad coming up for Christmas. So I just want to window shop. I just want to see what's out there because I'm, I'm so like, I need to touch things and like, yeah, feel things and see what stuff's like, the quality and, and whatnot. And the, as I said, the range of really, uh, they're outdoing themselves at the moment. All right, could you go in your beds and I'll give you a treat? Well done. I promise I won't be too long. Traffic dependent, but I'm trying to go at the best time. Had a really successful time. I have been way longer than I wanted to be, so the idea of doing the slow cooker shenanigans, I don't think it's going to happen. But I can prep it to do it tomorrow. I also haven't had lunch, so I'm going to have a bit of sushi. I got so much from the range, and it was so quiet, and the Christmas section was amazing. I love the lights. I'm really keen to dress the dining table and not feng shui the kitchen but organize the kitchen a bit better i'm gonna go this way sorry that what a load of guff let's go Hey, 
Ayaw mo buhay! Ayaw mo buhay! Ayaw mo buhay! Ano ang buwis? Anyone? Wings! This lighting isn't at all flattering, but we are losing light, so I thought I would um, maybe do a little bit of a haul and maybe also adjust this camera. This is the range, by the way. I picked up this. There were two left and one had a massive crack at the bottom, but this one doesn't, as you can see. And I'm thinking of getting something dried um, that will kind of like come out and, and that could be a centerpiece. I always see these on Pinterest. Yeah, I didn't know whether I wanted to like put that together with the other vase or have it as like a standalone thing. But I, I always see this like with a smaller version of it or something smaller. So I was like, oh, that could look nice around the house. Or I was thinking of, yeah, having them together and then something else as a third. Then I needed to get a lamp for the spare room that wasn't offensive, but I just wanted something plain. I liked that it had a bit of texture on it. I'm all about like um, mixing textures together. Um, I do have a tendency to change lamp shades. My mum is calling. We got rudely interrupted there. The other things are decor bits. And I really liked the vibe of this. It's giving cozy. I bought some tea lights to go with it. I don't know whether this is a myth and I hope these aren't decorative purpose. No, they're not. You shouldn't use metal on metal when you're cooking. And obviously all the pans that I have are metal. So um, I saw these and I thought they were really really cute um we've got silicon ones and plastic ones like joseph joseph ones but these ones i thought i really like the wood and they're really nice i love the smell of these it's called breathe scented candle true aroma is the the range brand and i have a little um dish of like different candles and i put it on there I will put it on there because we're down a candle and I liked it so much that I've got a reed diffuser. I'm going to put that in the bathroom downstairs. Fabric conditioner. And then the last three are decorative but I would use them. And they are various chopping boards because I really like the look of layered chopping boards. And the chopping boards that I do have are battered, a bit gross and are quite chunky and thick. So I got this marble one, I kind of liked because we have black in our house. So I was like this black and white marbly striped oval white and black marble serving board. Imagine some brownies on that. Uh, another chopping board, but again, it's more, I'm thinking more of Christmas, like serving things. And then I got a really big one. Um, so I just thought those layered together would look really nice. It wasn't as urgent, but I got some new bedding from Habitat. Gray stripey one. It will go with the green bed sheets. So I need to wash that because this gen this actually does smell. Uh, I got two cereal bowls. They can be serving bowls. And the fact that Habitat is still doing these is amazing. I've always wanted one of these and I saw it. Pestle and mortar. Yeah, I was right. And I've never, ever, ever owned one in my life and on my cooking journey, so this is a little treat to myself. Yes, that is it. That is it. And then I did a food shop, which was just bits and bobs, crisp breads, uh, tomato, chopped tomatoes, uh, what's it, uh, some meat, uh, not too crazy. I've just put some eucalyptus that I had dried out that was upstairs and I think it looks good. I think it looks homey. I'm just cozy, I think is the right word. I'm just like trying to light all of these. I just think it's mega autumnal. Best 12 nights and I've ever spent. I genuinely thought it was gonna be a bit too busy um, and maybe if we do have people come around. I'll get rid of these two and we'll just have one in the middle. 
I'm not a morning person, but we're going to try and persevere. I've got an electrician coming at 8.45 to fit a camera outside the house. And I'm also getting my hair done today. It's just a little colour refresh. I think it's like a toner I shoved on my hair, which I booked in before uh, for my birthday, which is tomorrow. I'm going to be a 32 year old lady. I am going to put something on in the slow cooker. So I was thinking of doing a chicken casserole. Down, 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 roll. Down the witch's roll. How would I want the, how do I want to cut the onions? I don't want them thin. People are spreading false information about me, but my excuse, I don't, I don't even care. I don't care what slow mama and I'm going to be I've put it on the saute, saute option. But apparently browning off onions and searing the meat is what you should do before putting anything into a slow cooker. I always do this, and Andrew's like, why do you do this? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> this is how the onions are going. See, there's a lot of steam. But it tells you how long it's been going for. I've got the chicken searing off here. I just want it to not be pink anymore. Mix from the seasoning with water and add to the dish. Right, we are both learning how to use this. So I had it on sear and saute for the onions and now I'm going to do slow cooker. I want it to be on low. You only have high and low as an option. I want it on low. Time, yeah, okay. This is what we're working with. Shows that I, I've seen red and I'm just going to leave it for five hours now. Some people love the lightning lane or, you know, slightly lower. God, I look a bit of a shambles. Like I don't make sense what I'm wearing. Hey Siri, what's the degrees outside? It's 14 degrees right now. I absolutely look like a mess. But I'm going to go get my hair done. I'm comfy, that's all that matters, right? I wanted to do like a really cool transition or like, you know, do a before and then an after. But where Megan was doing my hair today, it was upstairs and it was so quiet. And I just didn't want to be that person that like gets their camera out and does this and, and I, you know, do you know what I mean? It just felt on edge. But anyway, I've had my hair done. She's curled it with the straighteners, which I will learn how to do. I'll find a way. I will than I was. I think I've only been like an hour. Yeah, I think that my ticket said like an hour and 10 minutes I was. It's the day before my birthday. I think my mum's still coming up. All happy, positive vibes. Sorry, this isn't riveting content, but we persevere. Yes, Kiki. <laughs> We've decided we're going for a walk. It's lovely and sunny outside. I'm gonna go take the dogs for a big old run around. Good boy. I know when Ralph has had enough because he's he has a little uh, strut on. He's eager to get home. Kiki, this way. It has been very, very busy though. And um, came at the wrong time, but sometimes you can't help that. But we've had a good old walk and it's been mega sunny. Good girl, Kiki. Do you need to go wee wees? I think we're gonna try and attempt to go to Starbucks. I want a drink and I'm gonna get the dogs. Pup cup. Oh, I'm so 
I'm sweating. Oh, somebody. Oh, the house got sold. It's sold. one of those please with water yeah no problem anything else uh, are you able to do it without the lime pieces in it yeah yeah no problem anything else uh, two pop cups please yeah no worries amazing thank you Love thank you thank you so much I don't I probably no. should though Wait. Go on. Good boy. I am sweating. I also think it's getting to the point now where summer is no more, which means I've got to put fake tan back on. I don't want to be pasty for my birthday tomorrow. All right, I think I need to write uh, a list. I put a wash on yesterday and then had to nip out. Right, I'm trying to do too many things at once and my mind's getting boggled. I love these chairs, 10 out of 10. Good morning, Tisha. Gomez, how have you been coping? Keeping secrets, murderous secrets that need to be addressed. We have got company this evening, just for a little bit. Helen's gone to Lake District this weekend and so I went and fed the dogs this evening. But I felt really, really bad going in there, feeding the dogs and then just leaving because I had my dinner to get back to and other bits to do. So I've kidnapped them. Okay, I've let her know. And we're having like a little doggy play date for like a, an hour and a half. To get a bowl. I'm gonna dish out what I want. It's basically turned into like a pulled chicken. Delish. These are patatis, which have been absolutely incinerated. Is that nice, diddly D? Right, Kiki, gently. Go on, Ralph, high five. Good boy, Dee Dee, spin. Good girl, and Lola, gently. What a morning, eh? What a morning. Okay. <clears throat> Do I look like I fly pottery? <laughs> no, that was really nice. Do I look like I fly pottery? <laughs> Um, there should be something like really small that delivers today, um, but I haven't had comp like I haven't had the actual. No, don't worry, don't worry. From them, so it'll be here in the next couple of days. <laughs> I can't see it. Hold on. No, oh, that's a good card. He is. Who do you think that's from? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that was so funny to edit that last bit and i really do apologize for my ugly laughing face yeah andrew and i just have a little in joke since flying business class we're like we're petrified to go back to economy can i just say for his birthday last month i got him a card that said like best husband, like five out of five stars, would marry again. And I get that card. Outrageous. It is my birthday today. I am a 32 year old lady. It was weird waking up by myself. Even like to the point of like Luna wasn't in the bed and it's all just, just different this year. And 
We're rolling with the punches. Mum has left, she is on her way. It's only mum, my brother's not coming anymore, which kind of makes things easier because me and my mum were gonna have to sleep in a bed together and then my brother was gonna be in the spare room. So happy that that's not gonna happen. But we have got some things planned. Thanks to Andrew, he was like helping me plan last, as well as Helen actually. She uh, helped with some Sunday roast recommendations because if you are in the Norwich area or probably anywhere in general, trying to book on a Saturday for a Sunday roast at anywhere that's like half decent, good luck. You need to do stuff in advance. I've learned my lesson, but also this whole thing had been quite last minute. Um, and it's also half term, which I'm really still getting confused about because I think some kids have broken up this week and some have broken up this following week. And I'm used to it being the following week. because so I'm gonna be really annoyed if my friend Liana was her half term this week. Um, I've had in my head that I'm gonna see her next week because um, she works in a school. So I need to message her. But yes, we are going to go out for dinner tonight. A Sunday race tomorrow and a dog walk and then she leaves on Monday so I might vlog I might not um, but regardless we have got some stuff to do this next month without Andrew being here but also like prepping to go away to Disney getting the house straight We've got a new table really happy with how that's looking got to get into the loft got to sort clothes so I'm quite jazzed to make some productive Polly pants content. That's kind of my avenue. I like organizing, I like decluttering, I love watching all that stuff. So to create that kind of content is, um, is gonna be exciting and fulfilling. Lastly, thank you so much for all the birthday messages that I've received in like my DMs and text messages and things like that. Mainly on my Instagram, really. I am going to go wash off this dodgy tan, put on birthday outfit, because I do have one. I just hope that I've got some tights somewhere because uh, if not, I'm gonna have to change up what I'm wearing. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to be more on it, although this didn't go up on Thursday. It has gone up this week at some point. Lots of love. I hope you're keeping happy and healthy and I will see you very soon. Look, this outro needs to get worked out. I, I, need, some, I need some advice. <laughs>